based them loosely on my son's group of friends when he was in year six. So it was a very diverse group. And I think it's really important to have diverse characters um, in lots of different ways, obviously by their ethnicity, um, by the things that they've experienced. They have that there, that deep rooted loyalty um, and care for each other, which no matter what else happens, that overcomes everything, which is lovely, I think. Lance is really important to me as a character because he has a disability um, and I myself have, have an invisible disability and so many people have an invisible disability and it it's a huge part of your life and it changes you and it affects you every single day but people don't necessarily realize you don't necessarily talk about it all the time and I wanted Lance to be have these challenges and yet still show that he can absolutely shine, that he's brilliant, that he's a good friend, that he's so brave, he's calm under pressure. And even ultimately, the thing that causes problems for him in daily life um, can, could, can help him in some way. You're not less or worse than other people. You've got something that makes you different. And I really wanted Lance to reflect that. So I really, I'm just so fond of Lance. I love him. I really love him. That I didn't want there to be a main character that's already brilliant in all these different ways. I wanted it to be those kids who get overlooked and who think they're not that good at, at things. I wanted them to have their sort of chance to shine. Cat, who's just so kind and gentle and always is like this lovely rock, this lovely support. Big Mac, I'm like always one step away from being a prepper for myself. Um, I love kind of end of the world apocalypse stories. And I'm very kind of a fearful person in that I think anything could happen. I don't have kind of a rational sense of that's not going to happen. I try to, but I do, get, I do get carried away. I'm very much a worst case scenario person. If I had loads of money, I would definitely have a bunker. <laughs> I would definitely have it stocked with all my favourite things. Um, <clears throat> I, would, I would do that. My husband says no, but I, I'm adamant that, you know, if we ever get that, it, it will happen. So many people out there that do live like that. They're preparing for the end of the world. Um, and I thought it would be lovely to have a, a child who, you know, day to day, normal life. But underneath it all, there's this whole other story going on um, and having these amazing survival skills and this knowledge that none of the others have that seems to sort of come out of nowhere. Ah, oh, Chets. I had some criticism of Chets, actually, um, in a couple of reviews that I've seen, where people thought that I'd put him in just to be kind of the dunce um, and the, the weakling. And he's never been that in my mind. Again, he was based on, on friends of Stanley's or kind of a couple of them combined who really looked up to Stanley but still bringing so much to the friendship themselves. Cause you know, Chets is so smart. He's clever. He's funny and sweet and warm. And he's got this lovely, open, kind heart. And so that's why what ha happens to Chets in the first story, part of the reason I did that was because I wanted to show that sometimes the children who are quiet, who are, you know, maybe dependent on others, who are more sort of the, tag along sounds horrible but some people say oh they just tag along they know they're never just tagging along they have their own qualities that they're bringing to the table and I just thought it would be really fun to bring those to the forefront in chat so people could see you know he's you know he's he's okay he's got he's got skills he's got knowledge he's got confidence it's in there um it just needed bringing out in a different way aid if I could be anyone I'd want to be aid because she's super smart she in the first book she very much knows who she is she's comfortable with it she's confident she doesn't take nonsense from anybody um and she's brave and she's not a gentle kind person but she has kindness in another way um so she was a really important character and I think on to moving into the second book again I wanted to see how that big change that big transition to secondary school would affect someone like that who has been kind of so confident and comfortable in their surroundings and to kind of mix it up and throw things at them that they weren't expecting um so yeah it was really interesting exploring that with Abe. but yeah I think AID's amazing I'd love to be AID
Trent is one of my favourite characters to write. I love writing Trent. He's just, yeah, he's so awful. The thing with Trent is obviously he accidentally helps them, um, never means to help because he's always looking out for himself, but somehow or another, you know, him being there, it aids them in some way, which is really lovely. And yeah, he's just so fun and it adds a kind of a humour as well, I think, to it just by him being there. So I love writing Trent. And his part's in the second book. I really, really enjoyed writing. I think every child is special. Every person is special. Um, and when you're, especially when you're at primary school and secondary school as well, I think, some children, they don't know what they're really good at and they feel like they're just mediocre or they're a bit rubbish or they're average. And obviously that's not true at all. It just takes some people a longer time to find out what they're brilliant at and everyone is brilliant at something whether it's you know something that they're really clever at doing or a skill that they have or maybe they're just incredibly kind and they make everybody happy there's something and I just really wanted this group of children to be able to bring out those skills and those traits that I mean they do have skills that kind of literally help them to resolve things in the story but also their personalities all help so much they are just this lovely team because of all the different things about them because of their flaws because of their strengths because of everything that makes up those people they work so well together um, and then obviously in the second book I explored that further by kind of pulling the team apart and having to put them back together when they've all changed they've all been through things um everything's different and I wanted to see how that would affect them and how hard it would be to get them back together as a team